well, we're back with this pun-loving fuck, and we're gonna go visit Tomcat at the place. Ready to head out? Yep. 100%. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. It would be great if Tomcat was an actual cat. I think, yes, that would be great. So we need, what is this? So we need to go in. The door to Stardust is inviting. It looks packed. Wait, these parting silhouettes are just painted on the windows. Cool. Old up there. Got ID? <laughs> yes. All right, looks good to me. I always get ID'd. Welcome to Stardust. Thank you. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? Nope. Nah, not my kind of zone. <laughs> or this is my first time, but I don't think it'll be my last. No, not my kind of zone. It does seem to be a bit boisterous for your tastes, at least from what I know of them. Still, the noise and the crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Uh, talk to the buff uh, bartender. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tom. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Drink it. Drink it. Don't drink drinks that aren't yours. Look at it. It's a shot of whiskey. It's not yours. Listen to it. Listening to a glass of whiskey isn't very fun. Can I... Look at you. A gruff-looking man holds down the bar. He seems friendly enough, given his size. Fuck. Oh. Touch him. Reaching over the bar like that comes off pretty threatening. <laughs> Talk to him. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Smiles like a champ. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. Okay. <laughs> What'll it be? Alcohol. Uh, blue, blue fairy, sober chauffeur, spicy gentleman, power play, PT, Michelada, onyx rum, green tea, Dougie's and cream, beer, TMF, butch flower. Fucking I don't know. Groggy Nog, Rusted Lace, Natasha Allegri, Buzzer, Bionic Femme, <laughs> Whiskey Antarctic Harvest, Persian June, Sour Apple Teeny, Den Svenska Bjorn Summon, Whiskey Rita, <laughs> Sickly Sky, Subtle Bitch, Clumsy Belarusian, Seven Minutes Netherworld, Rusty Nail, Sazerac, Maple You Closer, Modest Connie, Blue Boy, Hassy Spike, Scotch Drop and Roll, Garibaldi, Cur Royale, Drinking Game, Ingredients and Ratios, Canopies, Sunshine Cloud, Gut Punch, Bears Winter Teeny, Wiener Juice, Fluffy Dream, Tokyo Tea, Tastes Like Orange, Mo Sugar Rush, Cora Peel, Wolf Bite Shot, I don't like this one. Air Drink, Raider Master, Blue Fairy. Okay, uh, let's go with some green tea. So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Oh, God. 
green and tea. Dictionary. The open alcoholopedia says. <laughs> Not alcoholic, just green tea because it's that good. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. It's fine. I don't want to look through everything again. Ah. All right. You got it. Coming right up. Green tea served. Now, what is it you need to know? Uh, could you tell me more about yourself? Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. You've owned it? So, what do you want to know? He's the owner? Not to be rude, but don't places like this come and go in a flash? But they say that Stardust is forever. That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! After two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. So, uh, what did you do before Stardust? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I can understand that. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> So, uh, we're looking for Hayden Weber. Do you know him? Hayden. Scientist guy. Does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Yeah. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Nice. So, I'm meeting a Tomcat. Do you know where they are? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. Mm. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Hmm. Okay. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck! Okay. Have fun remembering. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. Have fun remembering about beverages. I don't want to look at any of those posters. Is this Tomcat? They got little kitty ears! Maybe? A woman stands at a drink table, quietly people watching. Touch them. You got a death wish, Peebles? Listen to oh. Yes, can I help you? Are you Tomcat? Huh? Tomcat is Oh wait, I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. Unfreaking believable. Find them yourself, junk. Whoops. Uh, 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 don't get your fur in a knot. I'm just asking around. What the hell is your problem? <laughs> Causing problems. You want to spew that shit? Join the protests outside Genus. I'm sure those ass butts will love you. Now get lost. Just wanted Tomcat to be a real cat. No, that's 
No. Send Tomcat my way if you see him. Yeah, all right, whatever. Just get moving. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. Are you Tomcat? Yours truly, though. Although, voila, I like the attention. It'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Is that why that woman was giving me such a hard time? Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? A friend of mine, Hayden, he's gone missing. We found a note saying that he was going to meet you. Hayden's missing? Well, that's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little rom with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. You know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS, so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Tell us about yourself, Tomcat. Oh, sure. <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. <sighs> Ooh, caused one hell of a stink, if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. I earned myself an enforced nap blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Why hack into Parallax? Huh? To see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. So, which was it? Kid Genius or Malicious Criminal? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth, and now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Mostly. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. What's the deal with the accent? Are you from the south? Raleigh, North Carolina, doll. It's called Riley? I thought it was really. Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. How do you know Hayden? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. What was Hayden working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but 
turn is all I knew about. My computer runs on Lips OS. I didn't know the ROMs did too. Ooh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Um, can you explain it like I'm a child? That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs, within range. And they share all files the user has tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why he may have gone missing? I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, ooh, that might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with them, but... He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Seriously, though. What is Jess's problem? Oh, don't you worry about Jess, man. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Because, uh, it will. Because she's a hybrid, people are assholes, she's a, ca a caustic jerk. Whew, they are. Especially the hybrids, though I think it's more the way they look than the way they act. Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Mm, she does owe me a favor, or three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, so how do we find Hayden? Yeah, I'm, I'm not real sure, hon. But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? The what? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. All right, I'll come back when I have the data cache. Good luck. Turin, you, you keep out of trouble. We're going to leave. My drink! All citizen, this area has been off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. That's my friend's place. Is everything okay? I'm sorry, citizen but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. 
they may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Listen, I really need to get in there. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. Okay. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode. And any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with law and lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Yo, we need that data cache. Oh, drat. I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? Break the robot! Apparently I have a contact inside the Neo SFPD. Who would that be? Um, my father. I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Lexi, she's kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. Wow. You have a very poor net presence. Thanks. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Sorry? It's okay. We'll work on it. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. <laughs> That would be Detective Rivers' terrain. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? That should probably be cool. <laughs> if you want to keep all your teeth, yeah. I... I don't even have any teeth. <clears throat> I mean, done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. Police station Adagy City map is looking great. The Neo San Francisco Police Station for the Richmond District. It has all the charm of, well, any other old police department. Uh, crime status is okay. This old looking desk has a ton of paperwork on it. Yeah, it does. Touch it. I want to touch it. Use it. You technically already have a desk job. I'm gonna have to talk to this robot. An ED64 police unit attends the front desk. Maybe touching the front desk attendant isn't a good idea. Well then to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, Citizen Beebles. How may I 
could be of assistance today. Uh, I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. Tell her it's Beebles. Oh. <laughs> what? I want this instead. Didn't I just see you over at my friend's apartment? I believe you are mistaken, citizen. Perhaps you encountered another Parallax ED-64 law enforcement ROM? In my limited experience, I have found that ROMs, much like humans, do not appreciate it when they are told they remind you of someone else. <laughs> We're gonna go for the detective now. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment. But she has given me her authorization to send you her way. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. Okay, we're going to the park. She is working an investigation right now, and we're not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, is there anything you can tell me that's newsworthy? I'm not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. No thanks. Have a good day, Citizen Beebles. Maps. What is this water rum? We got a tree. Look at it. Eucalyptus globulus, the Tasmanian blue gum. You know a lot about pl oh, plants, huh? It's one of my favorite trees. The clean lines of the leaves and modeled patterns of the bark are interesting. Quite fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree too. The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgesic, boiled into tea, or used as flavoring in foods. Even used as a fragrance for soaps. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've permanently committed to my personal memory. Ah, you look so fucking smug. I thought you painted abstract art. Oh, I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work, and he focused on landscapes. It wasn't until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. Bob Ross? Yes, have you heard of him? Yes, I've heard of Bob Ross. During my initial stages of mental growth, Hayden limited my media access to mostly only educational programs. I had almost a century of public access television to review. And I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show, The Joy of Painting. He used an easy-to-learn wet-on-wet oil painting technique, and I started to paint along with the episodes. I also find his philosophical views compelling. He often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. I respect the man quite deeply. I've committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal memory. Jesus Christ. Your personal memory? Ah, yes. I don't actually store most information on my local memory. It's actually rather limited, and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. So most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the mesh net when needed. 
It's like relearning things over and over again. I'm sure you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. I mostly store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me, like information pertaining to personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. And eucalyptus trees make the cut. Well, as I said, I keep things pertaining to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but without the information about eucalyptus globulus, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area, both of which I find important to my emotional development. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't, but I fear losing parts of myself. So, Eucalyptus Globulus stays. You're cute. Of course I'm cute. The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the Uncanny Valley. Good. I, uh, I don't like that. I can't imagine adoption rates for the technology would have been very high otherwise. <laughs> Probably not. Thank you for the information sharing. Of course. Enough about the happy little trees. You'll have to excuse me for chattering on like that. We'll have plenty of time to discuss things once we found Hayden. Yeah, that's true. Talk to the tree. You try calling to some birds, but they just fly away. Bye-bye, birdie. I wanna listen to the tree. Lovely nature sounds flood your senses. These headphones really are something else. This is a public park ROM. It roams its designated area to offer water and directions to tourists. It also takes donations. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Yes. Sure thing. Please wait. Okay, here you go. Water levels, okay. Would you care to donate some credits to the- Raw Recycling for a Greater Earth Foundation. Uh, no. Alright, please have a nice day. Can I get some more water? Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Yes. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish But I want more water. Some people see the glass half empty, some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. Touch it. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Oh god, no. Alright, please have a nice day. Carousel? Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. Playground! Playground, yes. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. Set personality modifier to Killjoy, Captain. Looks like he's taking a photo of his ROM. Oh, like a little baby. This isn't a park ROM, it's mine! Hey, could you take a photo of me and my adorably precious ROM? Thanks! I'd look nice in that hat? Mm, no. <laughs> no, not really. You probably just look ridiculous. What? <laughs> Yippee, look, 
need to find one big enough to fit your giant head. I... well... I won't bring it up again. <laughs> Her head appears to be enjoying the breeze more than she is. Ah, uh, I'm <laughs> mean. Sharply dressed. Having a lot of mixed feelings about this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. Snack stand. Small snack stand in the middle of the park. The coffee there is actually really great. Why well, spend credits on great yet expensive coffee? When there's a park I'm giving out free water. That's true. I guess. Pro you stand owner. NSFPD ROM Lexi. Ooh, she looks totally cool. That's Detective Lexi Rivers. You met her through your sister a while back, but you haven't seen her in some time until today. It's probably not a good idea to push Lexi around. Hey there, long time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? She's fine, what's with the Froyo stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has it's to do with it. It's becoming a hero of the people. My guess? It's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Ugh. If I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. What's their problem with you? Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. Why did you move anyway? I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Uh, hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. Great voice, I love it. So, fill me in, what's going on? Well, an old friend of mine, Hayden, has gone missing. Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. I was hoping that we could keep this off the books. Yes, Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment, Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. 
we were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most realms. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. Nice. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Okay. Promise. Can you just escort us into the apartment yourself? No way, not gonna happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. We can't wait a day. Hayden might not have that long. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. You're gonna put his life in danger because you don't want to stir the pot? Damn it, you know that isn't what I meant. You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? We'll have a better shot at this if we work, work it from both ends. Oh. No. I'm sorry, but we're not gonna do it that way. I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. And the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. All right, all right. I hear you, Lexi. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about regs, but I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone, much less a friend. Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, all right? Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but maybe it isn't a total loss. I have another idea on how to get us both inside yes, the apartment. Yes, go on. Good to hear. What is it? I'll need to get my hands on Detective River's police identification what? badge. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll need to be considerably closer to pull its near-field data. We can't risk being too obvious. How are you not going to be obvious trying to look at her police badge? Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you. So we need to find a way to scan her badge. But that's going to wait for next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.